Good morning, Pirates. Uh, this morning we're going to work on covering the AeroPress a little bit. There's all kinds of ways to do this. Um, I'll show you my way that I like to do. I've got a couple other friends and this is how they like to do it. The beauty of an AeroPress is you can take this thing anywhere. You can take it out on a hike, anywhere that you can heat up water. If you got a mug, your coffee, this thing is great. Um, the way I kind of look at, look at it as the way the methods of making coffee kind of go like this. The easiest, fastest, probably lowest quality of coffee drink is going to be drip pour over. Next will be the French press. Um, we'll cover that in another session. Um, same theory as the AeroPress. You just don't pull as much coffee uh, flavors and so forth um, as you do out of the AeroPress. AeroPress is going to pull, it's kind of like a mini espresso, if you will. It's putting pressure. Uh, under 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 the coffee and it's going to extrapolate more of the flavors a little bit more of the caffeine and so forth and then the espresso is the top where you're going to really push pressured water through the coffee um, so this is a really simple way I mean you can you can weigh the water with a scale weigh the coffee but I'm of the opinion fuck that shit when it's early in the morning I don't want to be looking at scales I just kind of eyeball it I know when I drink dark dark roast I like X amount of coffee you know, light roast, so on and so forth. So I just kind of eyeball it. Um, I don't geek out that much with the weighing of the water and the ratios and all that other shit. It's coffee, man. <laughs> just make good coffee and play with it till you find what you like uh, personally. So we have our AeroPress. A um, couple pieces to that. Bottom piece, this, the uh, pressurized suction piece at the top. The pan, um, the filters, the stir. Of course, we have our, our hot water already done. You're not going to use boiling water. Get your water at least under boiling. Never put boiling water inside the con you know the contraptions. I have my coffee, my spoon that I kind of gauge what I want to do, and then of course um, some awesome stoneware by Sunset Hills um, mugs that I love to use quite often. So breaking this down real quick. Um, basically, what you want to do. Some folks say you want to preheat the pan and then the cup. You're going to place a filter in there, um, pretty simple, just place it right inside there. You're going to screw this on the bottom uh, of the uh, device um, where it's going to fit on the bottom here inside. You can see that and then simply just place that over the, the cup that you're going to use. So then I'm going to take just a little bit of hot water um, and I'm just going to kind of preheat the, the filter and a little bit in the cup, get that nice and um, hot. Let it drip through for a second. While it's dripping through, this is nice and hot. We're going to pull over here. This is just an extra mug that we have so that we can get rid of the water out of there. The cup's nice and warm. I'm going to measure out fine grind. I'm using our Shipwreck Italian Dark Roast because I like that dark rich flavor. Um, and I like to put two of these scoops uh, inside there for for you know one good size cup you can go a little less you can go a little more it just depends on you like I said if you want to sit and weigh that shit out and look it up on the internet and what coffee you know grams per uh, water grams that's up to you uh, I just don't personally have the time or the patience for that nonsense so once you got your coffee in there what we're gonna do now is take our hot water this whole process from pouring water to pushing through should be about two minutes um, you're gonna get this in there. I'm gonna turn this so you can kind of see the fill line and it, the air press makes it real, real easy for you. So I'm gonna take it up to the number four. These air presses, you can get these on, on Amazon, or wherever, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever. Uh, 30 bucks, 25, 35 bucks, somewhere in that range. So as you can see, it's filled up to like the number four. I might even add just a little bit more some is seeping through right now because the filter is so so fine um, it's really not going to seep through real fast so we're going to start the clock I'm looking at our uh, clock on the wall for we're going to give it a good solid minute minute and a half of um, sitting in the water here then all I'm going to do is apply the, the top portion and just get it started while I watch the clock So this works great. You can do light roast 
Um, the benefit of doing a light roast is you're going to get high caffeine. Benefit of doing a dark roast is you're going to get rich, full body, uh, bold flavors. So, you know, it just depends on what you like personally. That's the beauty of coffee. There's so much out there. You can find the stuff that you like and, you know, you, you have all these nerds that, you know, want to break it down mathematically and all these other things. But the truth is you just have to try coffee and figure out what fits you, um, and, you know, what works for you, what some other guy has done on research and math. It's just kind of a guideline. It's not really meaning that you got to use that exact amount to get that. You may not even taste the notes. Some people don't even know, like, you, I don't taste the citrus notes in this coffee or whatnot. So it just depends. And the less quality coffee, the less you're going to pull the notes of the coffee. The, the better the coffee, the more you're going to really start to taste that coffee. So we're probably sitting um, just to write about a minute coming up here. And so what we're going to do is now we're going to take a little bit of time. You're not going to force this. We're just going to start applying pressure down. You're going to hear the coffee draining into uh, the cup. Steady pressure down. And as you get closer to the bottom, it's going to start really pushing that uh, flavor through there. This is why I like this one. French press is great. Anytime I can do a French press or an aero press over a drip pour over, that's, that's my go-to jam. Uh, really enjoy that. And just, we're just going to steady press that down. So all that air pressure tight suction, it has more um, tight suction than the French press, so which is why you're going to get a little more out of, out of that. Go all the way to the bottom. You'll feel it bottom out as I have here. Give it half a second. And then what I do is move a garbage can close so that you can, you know, kind of unload the, the grounds and the tray here at the bottom. So I'll kind of pull up a little bit of air just to kind of get it away from the very bottom. Move this over to a garbage can. Pull that filter off. You can see the filter just fell out. And then you can just finish pushing out. Boom, the grounds come out, which makes it beautiful. French press, you got to kind of dig it out a little bit. And um, you work at it to clean it up. But it's still really easy to clean uh, in the grand scheme of things. And you do want to clean these out before your next round. You don't want the coffee to go bad. and. Um, and, and it will affect the taste. So uh, with that said, now I've got a really good cup. Um, probably, so this is a, uh, I want to say this is a 14 ounce cup. So I've got a good, looks like out of that, probably a good eight ounces of really bold, um, fresh, rich uh, coffee that's uh, pushed through the AeroPress. So thanks for joining me this morning. Um, hope you enjoy the video. We're going to put out some more. This is the world according to Dan. I'm not any kind of real you know coffee uh, nerd guru I just do it my way I like a good cup of coffee I like low acidic coffee um, I'm older and uh, this you know coffee can rock your guts so I try to stay a little bit low acidic and I want good rich flavor out of my coffee and uh, anyway cheers have a great weekend uh, see y'all on the next one